I've already spoken about the man who lost his leg and memorized the Quran in 27 days, Adil al-Jassar from Egypt. He was someone I had the privilege of meeting and my first impression of him filled me with guilt. I first met Adil following his release from Guantanamo and resettlement in the town of Zvolen, Slovakia. It was as remote as you can get from what he had been used to living in Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, or indeed anywhere else in the Muslim world. Slovakia's Muslim population is 0.1% of the entire population, but I think there were none in Zvolen. Adil was one of three prisoners sent there in 2010 because they couldn't go back to their native homes in North Africa for fear of torture and imprisonment without trial, which was an irony. I met Adil at the train station in the capital Bratislava, three hours from Zvolen. I bought him many gifts for him, including a folding bike sent by a former Guantanamo brother. But I was a little surprised when I found that Adil did not help me carry some of these heavy things up uh, through the station and uh, particularly uh, up the staircases. I said nothing and talked about li his life since Guantanamo until we got to his apartment. Again, I struggled up the stairs with his gifts by myself and he didn't help. When prayer time came, Adil led. As I stood next to him, I could feel the hardness of his ankle next to mine. And that's when I realized why he hadn't helped me. Adil had a prosthetic leg. His own had been amputated by the Americans. My initial unease about his lack of help became an overwhelming sense of guilt. I recall asking him about his reaction when he was told that he was going to be sent to Slovakia. He said, the first thing I did was I cried uh, like a newborn baby. And I was really very, very happy that I was going to leave Guantanamo. But I was also very sad that I was going to leave my brothers behind in such a place. This is something I found with all former pr prisoners. The bond of brotherhood between us was tangible and strong, and it crossed the prison walls and fences all around us. However, as with all former detainees, their greatest difficulty following their release is not being able to see their family members or to be amongst Muslims. Adil told me, the most difficult thing for me, returning to a foreign country, not that of my own origin, is that in Guantanamo, at least I was with my family, my brothers. But here in Slovakia, I have no family, no wife, no kids, no Muslims. I could feel his pain. I was separated from my family for only three years and it felt like an eternity. Following the Arab Spring, Adil attempted to return to his homeland of Egypt. Upon his return, his moment of joy became one of sadness. Adil was arrested and imprisoned for six months on charges from the days of the deposed regime of Hosni Mubarak. But he endured, endured these tests patiently and was finally reunited with his family in Egypt after this ordeal came to an end. One of the important things from Adil was a message of our duty towards prisoners, which extends even after they are released. He said, everyone released from Guantanamo is looking for the support of the people, not only financial, but moral support. And that's something that is a duty upon us.